So I thought it'd be time to do a, a another home office music room tour. And I have this room set up for three different purposes. One, I run my business out of here. Two, I make YouTube videos out of here. And three, I have a real passion for music, vintage audio gear, hi-fi gear, etc. So anyhow, I just thought I would kind of show you around. One of the things that I do when I set up a room is that I kind of divide it into different zones. So we'll start with the first zone, which is where I review audio equipment, hi-fi gear. And we'll start with this top shelf up here. So I'm a big cassette deck nut and I, I love old cassettes. So I keep my cassettes, my blanks and uh, recorded cassettes up here and various cleaners and so forth. This is my iClear, which is great for cleaning like iPads and phones and that type of thing. And then here's some, uh, here's my big fudge cleaner up here. All my blank cassettes. Very special blank cassette. Very expensive. The most I've ever paid for a blank cassette was this right here. Uh, cleaning solution for the heads on my cassette deck. And then I uh, clean the pinch rollers, compressed air, etc. So those are what's on this top shelf up here. So I'm also uh, love good headphones. I review a number of them. These are by far... Uh, the headphones that I've used the most. These are the Sony MDR7506 headphones. And over here are the uh, Philips SHP 9500s, great sounding headphone. And on this stand right here is the Hi-Fi Man HE 400 SE Planar headphones, outstanding sounding headphones as well. Okay, for uh, testing audio gear and Critically listen to music. This is a system that I use. We'll start with the speakers. And this is the Eclipse RP600Ns. And then for a turntable, the Fluence RT85 with the Ortofon blue cartridge. What a wonderful sounding turntable. Also happen to be a vintage guy. This is my Pioneer uh, SX3700 uh, receiver, 45 watts per channel. Sounds fantastic. Down below is a NAD a C538 cassette deck. And then an Iowa, or I'm sorry, an Akai G7X, I believe, or GX7 cassette deck. Three head. What a wonderful cassette deck. And what I like to do is when I get a new vinyl, I'll go ahead and record it to cassette. If you're wondering about the stand that that's on, I just acquired that. It's the Vulcan. I believe that's the name of the company. I'll have a link down to that below. Very easy to assemble. No tools required. Uh, you can get add-ons to it and extend the shelving. I think it was sold for around $200. Very nice. I think this is the rosewood finish on here. For speakers, uh, for speaker stands, <laughs> these are actually... Um, bar stools that I got for a hundred bucks or no, it was 80 bucks, I think for a pair on, uh, on Amazon. And they do the job quite nicely. The RP 600 M's are actually on a rubber isolation feed as well. Okay. On this wall, that's where I keep some camera gear. The top is a Canon T6 I, and I just have some assorted lenses for it down below. That's where I normally keep the Sony a 6400. And there's a, uh, one of the lenses for it. This uh, Pancro lens cleaner, wonderful stuff, highly recommended. So I make a lot of my videos using this gear right here. This is the Sony AX100 camcorder. Fantastic camera. I think it sells around $1,300 or $1,400 brand new. They still make these. There is the AX700, but this does the job for me. It's sitting on a Manfrotto video head. And uh, so I get kind of a, I don't do the top down shots, but kind of put that off to the side and then uh, angle it down towards the product that I'm talking about. It's a great camera and uh, of course my Canon hat. So this is what I call zone two and this is where I uh, make my YouTube videos and we'll start here with the light. And this is the uh, Godox SL60W 
And I believe it's kind of a clone of the Aperture 120, but it's, it's a fantastic light. It makes a little bit of fan noise, but nothing really bad. And then I have a Aperture Light Dome Mini 2, and that's just a really nice light dome on there. See, it has kind of a, a webbing on here. Very nice. And let's see, salt lamp. Just a little uh, turntable type of thing for revolving shots. And then this is the camera and lens I use for a talking head video. And this is the Sony A6400. Does a beautiful job. And uh, to that, I have the Sigma 16 millimeter F.14 or F1.4 lens, which is a nice wide lens because I'm kind of in a compact uh, area. Connected to that is the receiver for the Rode Wireless Go microphone. And I just love that to pieces. And then down on the desk, that's the uh, transmitter down here. And then the lav mic that I got for it. And then I have a collection of my most favorite CDs that I listen to. So they're always kind of handy for me. Uh, an iPad Pro. And then I keep some remotes on here. This is the remote to the AX100 for the uh, Godox SL60W. And then I can change the colors of this uh, little Pioneer light right here. Another light that I use is the uh, Neewer uh, 480L. It's a 480 LED light and just kind of helps fill everything, uh, kind of helps fill everything in for me. Well, now we're in zone three. And this is my classic Pioneer Blue Line series equipment. Uh, it's not all Pioneer, but I'm working on it. And yes, I'm using the Bose 301 speakers. A lot of audiophiles hate Bose. Uh, no highs, no lows, must be Bose. But I happen to really like the sound of them, and they work out really well in this room due to the limited space. So starting at the top is a vintage Sony turntable with an Ortofon uh, Super 10M cartridge. Now you'll notice that it's on a, uh, I have these uh, isolation um, pucks underneath there. They're absolutely wonderful. No, you shouldn't really put a turntable on top of an amplifier, but uh, <laughs> I'm. Uh, when you see the rack that I've got, I'm gonna have to get a different rack at some point because I wanna add a uh, vintage Sony turntable. I def but this, this turntable is pretty light, so it doesn't really bother it, and there's plenty of space underneath of it, and I very seldom use it. The receiver is a vintage Pioneer SXD7000. It's been recapped, uh, restored, and uh, should last for many, many years. It's, I think, 120 watts per channel. It's one of Pioneer's really last monster receivers, and it's got those blue fluoroscan meters on it. Just a wonderful sounding unit. Down below that is a uh, digital timer that uh, I just use it simply as a clock, but different devices plug into it, and at a certain time, you can program it to like record a cassette from an FM stereo, something like that. Down there is my Pioneer CTF 9, uh, 900 cassette deck, three-head cassette deck. It does a fantastic job. The transport's been rebuilt on it. Um, it records... Uh, Standard cassette as well as chrome. Just a sweet sounding cassette deck. Well, that is a dynamic ex range expander. Uh, I use it all the time. It's kind of in a chain and a tape loop. And it just adds a little bit more vibrance to the music, a little bit more power. But below that is a CD player. It is a Samsung, actually it's a DVD player. That is the uh, Pioneer, I think it's the SG3. Uh, graphic equalizer, seven band graphic equalizer. And then finally, uh, a reverb amplifier that uh, the whole thing sounds way better when it's when it's turned off. In this corner, that's where I keep a lot of my CD collection. I have probably about 400 CDs. These are not all of them. I got some still in storage. I need more storage facilities for CDs. But uh, yeah, I've got to get those in alphabetical order too. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I, I just love my CDs, and this is uh, the collection. I buy them real cheap, buy them off of uh, 
eBay thrift shops, that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes I buy them in bulk, yeah, but I'm pretty much classic rock and jazz kind of guy. Okay, so this was the productivity area. This is what I call zone four. And uh, I kind of have the desk arranged in an L shape right now. We well, here I've got a couple new albums in. Getting ready to play those here shortly. To the right is the Alienware Area 51 M15 R3. Six core CPU, 32 gigs of RAM, terabyte of storage. Use it mostly for gaming, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and so forth. Then down here, that is the Shit Magni 3 headphone amp. And below that is a Cal Digit, uh, the, what is it, the uh, T3, the Thunderbolt 3 dock, wonderful dock. And then here is the topping D10S DAC. And below that is my Mac Mini, it's the 2018 with a 6 core i7 and also 32 gigs of RAM and uh, uh, 512 gigs of storage. Um, I work with the Logitech MX3 mouse and the MX Keys uh, keyboard for Mac. Wonderful, wonderful keyboard. And then a BenQ Lite really makes a big difference on working on the uh, on the computer during the daytime. It just relieves eye strain. Highly recommended. So this is just be a all right, this is just one last shot of the office uh, looking from the other direction, from left to right. It's not really that big of a room, and I've got it packed pretty pretty full of stuff, but it really does work out for me very, very well. I'm very comfortable in here, and I spend a lot of time. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.